Cześć, mam na imię Andre. Nazywa się William. Hi, day four of my Polish language learning challenge. Hi, my name is Andy and I'm doing a Polish language learning challenge. Um, there are 32 letters in the Polish alphabet, so it's quite a few more than in the English alphabet. And some of the letters have um, marks above them, diacritic marks, or marks underneath the vowels. So there are various um, sounds that don't exist in English. So this is what makes Polish challenging. Also, the grammar is um, quite different to English. There's lots of different endings on the nouns and verbs um, and their case endings as well. So Polish is a Slavic language, so it's very similar to Russian um, and the other Slavic languages in that um, the endings of words change quite a bit. Also in Polish, I find it's different to other Slavic languages in that there's lots more sort of, um, I don't know what the sounds are called, but there seem to be sort of hissing sounds like ch, ch, and these kind of sounds, so um, it's a bit challenging. Uh, I've been listening to some Polish music today. This is a CD I bought in Amsterdam. Um, a while ago, and it's Justina Stechkowska. Justina Stechkowska, I hope I've said that correctly. And one of the tracks in this is, um, sounds like Days of the Week. So it's like Tony Jerry Week, Torek, etc. So that's um, what I'm going to be learning, Days of the Week. So hopefully in tomorrow's video I'll be saying those and hopefully pronouncing them correctly. Um, even though this is all in Polish, um, there's a big um, Kletzma feel to this CD, so I don't know if you can see the uh, Hebrew there. So, and, uh, so altogether, I feel like I've had quite a good day today. Um, been on Memorize, Duolingo, listened to some Polish music, watched some Polish um, YouTube videos, Polish 101, and basically tried to think of it in Polish.